Welcome back to Cliff's Corner. In this episode, Cliff demonstrates fire skills. You're going to need a saw in order to cut pieces of wood to size so that you can split them with your hand axe. I've assembled three very good saws. Each one's a little different. Let's take a minute and probe the differences between them. First, some basic rules. The longer the blade, the easier the saw will cut. So you may like short blades because they look handy and because they're very light, but the longer the cutting surface, the less hard you're going to have to work. Keep that in mind if you're going to be cutting a lot of wood. Next, I want you to notice the difference between these two basic blade designs. The one on your left has all teeth. The one on the right has both teeth and a funny looking structure here, which is called a raker. There are four cutters and one funny looking structure, rakers. Now, rakers don't cut, rakers rake. The purpose of a raker is, if you're cutting in green wood or resinous wood, the wood tends to gum up the kerf of the saw. So you put in this little raker here to just literally shove the chip, shove the sawdust out through the saw curve. The rakers don't cut, they rake. This is the best style blade if you're going to build a cabin from green trees. If you're going to cut green trees and saw green wood, you probably want to saw with rakers. But hey, have you ever seen a carpenter saw with rakers? Of course not because carpenters are cutting dead, dry wood. Clue, so are you. The point is, you don't need rakers on a wood saw. You need cutters on a wood saw. If these two blades are the same length, and this saw has one raker for every four cutters, that means that one-fifth of the blade is useless as far as cutting. This style blade will cut 20% faster than this style blade. So we need three tools, a sharp knife, a sharp hand axe, and a saw. We're ready to make this fire. May the wind be at your back as you explore new places, and may you care enough to preserve the wild and wilderness for all who follow. Thank you for watching Cliff's Corner. If you would like to see more content by Cliff, please subscribe to my channel. If you would like to purchase the Forgotten Skills video, go to Cliff's website, cliffcanoe.com or scan this QR code to go directly to Cliff's site. I want to thank Dan Nestor for permission to use his music. Stay tuned for more episodes from Cliff as he shares his tips to help make your camping experience more enjoyable.